Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is about separation, no contact. And this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. And I'm going to start with looking into your energy first and then see where your person is energetically at this point. And then we are seeing the energy between the two of you. So let's look into this, whoever you are thinking about, your twin flame, your soulmate, someone who you feel, who, who you have feelings towards. Your energy is showing up as the squirrel, fun seeker, and this one, feminine grace. Very beautiful energy, Virgo. Well done. This is about um, focusing on you and finding things that make literally you feel like a child again in a good way, being child like not childish um and just getting on with your life interestingly the swan is showing up the swan is choosing their partner for life and this one is on their own so you could be single you could be um with someone and this person you are thinking about could be your twin flame so whatever your situation, however you resonate, you are still looking for your partner. And your person is in the peace energy, dove with peace. Very beautiful. They are flying high. Um, it looks like from the outside that both of you are having a great time without each other, right? So this is a separation, no contact reading. And... Um, Honestly, please don't take it the wrong way, Virgo, but it feels like your person is happy that this um, whole thing is over and it's like a huge weight fell off their chest or shoulder or wherever they were carrying it. Okay. So let's find out what is the energy between the two of you right now. Because although you are in separation and not talking to each other, there is an energy bond between the two of you. So what is that about? Ten of Pentacles. And the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is the energy for the two of you. Ten of Pentacles. It does feel like you both are focusing on the material world. There is nothing wrong with that. Um, finding financial stability, finding your way, uh, becoming who you want to be, meant to be. Both of you are focusing on money. And honestly, this feels like the two of you would like to come towards each other but none of you know how because there is a, a giant gap between the two of you which seems like impossible to bridge the way you think about your person is the knight of uh, one so they just want to play they are a player they don't want to commit and the way they see you is this page of pentacles right i will need some clarifier on that yeah i'm not going because there are so many things coming through i will clarify it later the way your intention shows up for go is you are still caring about your person caring for them and they their intention is showing up as the ten of cups like um they still feel there is something between the two of you, like unfinished business. Okay, hold on. I am channeling from above and I use tarot cards sometimes to get the messages through. So please don't start telling me the Ten of Cups don't mean, mean that. 
Um, so I am directed to this house here, the, my attention. And there are butterflies and bees flying around. I never spotted those bees before. So I feel that you both are hard workers and you could be both going through some kind of transformation. And um, this peace your person is feeling is like um, giving themselves permission to see life in a different, different way. Just bear with me. This is what spirit is giving to me. So we will find out more about that. Your obstacle is the Four of Swords. You have been on a healing journey for a long time, Virgo, and you cannot tolerate people ghosting you, going quiet on you, not communicating with you. Virgos are usually good communicators, not all of them. And depending on which stage they are in their life, on their spiritual journey. Because sometimes, even someone is a Virgo, because they can be in their ego, they might use like this this as a tool to to be quiet as a passive aggressive tool not everyone so what your fear is that your person is playing that game with you um like deliberately ghosting you deliberately going quiet on you to manipulate you mentally and emotionally that's your fear their fear is the four of pentacles I don't think they are very confident in themselves and they are afraid that they are not living up to your expectations. So literally feeling not enough, that you find them not enough. The obstacle is the emperor. So right now you are both in your masculine energy. Right now you are towards each other. Right now you both are setting very strong boundaries, believing that your truth is the truth, their truth is the truth, and like not uh, stepping down from that. Uh, a spirit is showing me like two armies facing each other and you each one of you is a leader of an opposing army and um, you are not standing down it's like a staring competition who can hold this silence longer and the outcome is the king of swords so strategy something logical something that you both are planning um, I don't know. According to the intentions so far, you both feel like there can be more here. But because you both are standing in your masculine energy, I don't feel that <laughs> there will be a peace <laughs> offering soon. I don't know. Let, let's look into this. So, I really want to find out first this page of pentacles. This is the way they see you. So what that is about. Okay. Right. So they believe that you are going to come to them. That you are going to reach out to them and you are going to bring an offer to them. They believe that you want reconciliation and... Um, they feel you need to apologize because you hurt them. Um, they see you as someone who doesn't, um, who is very loyal and doesn't leave others, like, um, doesn't leave others full stop. So when you are uh, loyal to someone, you are loyal to someone. But 
they are also feeling that this is different. You are making a decision whether you actually want this. And you are almost like um, going through different angles. Is there any way that you, Virgo, will not be robbed or played or used in this situation? But still, they are expecting an apology. Okay. So what is this Ten of Cups about, this intention? Right. They, they do expect it to restart again. You could have, the two of you, a history of on and off, in and out, hot and cold. And they think it's just the same. You will sooner or later break and you will reach out and there will be a new beginning between the two of you um, because there is a mutual love. But they kind of feel like it's tiring. This situation is tiring. Um, and they just literally leaving it to the, leaving it to the universe. Uh, whatever happens, happens, but they feel this is not over. Okay. Now what I am um, feeling you see them as a player and you are afraid that they are ghosting you, going quiet, separation, no contact to manipulate you. So, you know, something is off here. They claim that you heard them, you, have, you owe them an apology, you need to reach out to them. And you are like, I don't want to be with a gamer. I don't want to be with a player. I don't want to be used and abused in any way. So those truths are really very different from each other. And um, your person feels, feels like, uh, to me, uh, the, the energy they give off, like... Um, you are too much, you are a burden, you see things the wrong way, you are to blame for everything, which in any situation is always suspicious if one person thinks they are always right and they are always blaming someone else. Okay, what is this emperor about as the obstacle? What is the emperor about as the obstacle? Oh, one went on the floor. Hold on. Yeah. So it became um, a big, heavy burden for both of you. This situation, this connection, for different reasons, obviously, as we see. You or them tried to cut this uh, connection or did try or did actually do it because you are in a separation, no contact. And I feel you both did it, whichever uh, broke up with the other one, or you could both be broke, breaking up with the other one, did it with the hope that the other person will learn from this and then on a new level, the two of you will reconnect and start again. And you are both broken hearted. I feel that you two are on completely different pages. And things are not aligned at all. Energetically, you both are in a different place. Uh, in a... Um, Perceiving this situation, you both are in a different place. It's just not coming together at all. Okay, so what is this King of Swords as the outcome? Oh, all right. 
some communication. I do feel that you both, um, in in a in a position like you, Virgo, are expecting them to come to you and uh, and apologize for what they did to you because from where you stand, they are in the wrong, and um, from where they stand, they believe you need to come and apologize to them, and um, that's where the two of you are are stuck. However, there will be some kind of communication and there is the temperance with the Six of Wands. Uh, because of this Six of Wands here, um, I do have a feeling that they might be the one who will reach out to you and uh, try to no, I, I actually, let me see. It is like either of you could reach out. What is this six of wands? Clarity, two of wands, five of wands. Yeah, one of you will gain clarity about the situation and finally decide to reach out to the other and decide to fight for this because it is making you both happy when the two of you are on the same page. But right now you are dangerously far away from each other. Opposing, opposing each other. Ah, oh, it's very weird. Okay, so let's see who you could be dealing with here. We have Sagittarius, Leo showing up, Aquarius... Aries, Gemini, Pisces, who else? Yeah, that's it. So, this is really tough. I just seen 1717 on the clock, which might mean something to you. One plus seven is eight. That's abundance. Both of you are focusing on money. That's a confirmation about that. I really would like some input from um, Spirit about um, what what is it to get more insight here because... What I am getting is if you decide to reach out, Virgo, because of the player and the ghosting energy and the mental and emotional manipulation, you could be doing a big disservice to yourself and pushing yourself back to another cycle which you already uh, were in. And right now you are supposed to learn the lesson to let go of the person who is not um, on the same level in thinking, in seeing the world. Uh, it's like you two are just in different leagues right now. So you sh definitely, I feel, but, you know, I am, I'm not telling you what to do. I am just telling you what the energies feel like. That you will lose a lot if you reach out. If they reach out and you respond... That is kind of a different story. Either way, if you decide to reach out or if they reach out to you, the key is to constantly check within to, so you, you feel, sense your source guidance and your spirit, spirit guides are always watching out for you because... Um, even if they reach out and you respond, they can drag you back to the old cycle and bring you down energetically. So you, it's almost like for you, it's a lose-lose situation. 
Yeah, X. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Exactly. Abandonment. So that's what they do. Your, your feelings, your intuition, your spirit guides are already telling you it is a silent treatment. This, this is passive aggressive. This is something um, to get, get a response, a, a reaction out of you. And not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundary, still angry. That's your person. So spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Because your person is in the wrong. Ghosting is never justified. Ghosting is a cruel act, whatever the circumstance. It's a vicious tool that narcissists use, people with narcissistic tendencies use, people who are passive-aggressive use. It's never justified. So you can get really hurt. You must be discerning Virgo. And the bottom of the deck is lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. I feel this is you. The shocking news could be maybe through this reading, maybe you already suspected this, that they were using you, they took advantage of you, they were playing you. They believe it is a mutual love connection. And I have no doubt that you two both have romantic love towards each other because uh, of the cards, uh, how they show up. However, that's not an excuse. Okay, so Virgo, please watch out. However much you feel that you want to reach out to them to get closure, to get an apology, to whatever... They are expecting an apology from you. So this is um, a warning from spirit that however much you care about your person, there are so many red flags because they are not in their heart space. And they have this skewed view of you and how you're supposed to uh, go over and beyond to please them. So, yeah, I'm going to continue this on Patreon. And see what our spirit is showing us about your person. So for now, I do feel this is over. This uh, separation, no contact situation. And even if your person reaches out, you need to be very, very careful. And check with your intuition whether they s sound, seem genuine or they are playing another round of whatever game they have in mind. Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. And I can't wait to see you next time. Take care. Bye for now.